Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean Special Report. Today's date, January 27, 2023. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Episode 493, U.S. military inside Russia doing cyber and other types of sabotage. Z equals and is a U.S. citizen. Who knew? And God wins. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, Jessica Ariel, Morocco's interview recently of Peter the Insider, Alexander Christoforo, Scott Ritter, Off Grid Desert Farming, with Adrian uh, at Before It's News, with Benjamin Fulford, War News 24-7, and Steve Qualls' side, Daily Mail. So let's get started. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber says, there's 17,000 CCP ships uh, off of Costa Rico. Uh, Costa Rico would be, uh, I'll show you where it is. I'm pretty confident if we had 17,000, uh, here's the U.S., here's Texas, Mexico, Central America, South America, Costa Rica. Yeah, I think if we had 17,000 ships in CCP ships, we'd definitely have a lot of U.S. military and, and uh, Coast Guard there. Of course, we do have a certain segment of our military, 30%, who are deep state. So... So, my Patriot subscriber says, yeah, there are 17,000 CCP ships off of Costa Rico. They've turned off their GPS, and they're getting ready to invade the U.S. And, uh, and that Russia has nuclear control, yeah, remote control missiles they put on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. That's true. Yeah, we had sources for that. All right, I uh, have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about, uh, in my last video, I was talking about the FEMA camps and guillotines, and this Patriot subscriber says the last plane that brought in guillotines to the U.S. was January of 2018. It came in from China to a military base close to Texas, maybe in Oklahoma. We have a 30% shadow U.S. military. I have a Patriot subscriber is talking about the tanks that are brought out, to the Abrams and the Leopard tanks, fire uh, ammo that when they hit the target, release radioactive powder. And this uh, Patriot subscriber says the Abram fires the Sabat bullet that has depleted uranium uh, on it, beryllium and gallium. And uh, I was in Iraq and it was used there. Yeah, I've got several who are talking about Iraq and the U.S. using the uranium there. Uh, Patriot subscriber, Iraq. They use the contaminated tank ammo will contaminate Iraq for 50,000 years until there's a new solution, solution to clean it or God cleans it. And this is why the equipment was left behind and it could cause cancer for 10 years and, deform and there are many cases of deformed babies being born in Iraq as a result of these Depleted uranium uh, uh, Abram tank ammo being used. Okay, Patriot subscriber. Yeah, David beheaded Goliath and his brothers. But they were Nephilim. Yeah, I, did, I forgot to mention that. So they could not regenerate. That was, uh, uh, that's been brought out. I mean, that happened in the Bible. And my research reveals that's why David beheaded Goliath after he killed him. And then he took his head and, and it go, 
flows into another type of prophecy about Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the Patriot subscriber, Iraq soldiers. Uh, so we use the uh, uranium penetrating bullets from the tanks and they release radioactive powder. So yeah, I have veterans bringing this out. Yeah, okay, so now we have this. Benjamin Fulford, a Canadian journalist who's lived in Japan for many decades and has contacts with ruling uh, Asian families on a global basis, is bringing this out. And this was his information coming out January 20. Then it was released on the site before its news on January uh, late last night uh, or today. Now, so he's saying, yeah, in Ukraine, they're looking at a military collapse in the area. Here is a map of Ukraine, and we've got Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporonista, Kherson, right here, Bakhmut, and um, Iraq, I mean, uh, 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 Ukraine had been pouring, just kept pouring troops in there. And uh, this, they've lost 14 brigades, which according to Benjamin Fulford is about 40,000 troops have been killed here in Bakhmut. So they're now trying to back away from that. Now, Benjamin Fulford is talking about the recent meeting in Davos with Klaus Schwab. He's part of the Bloodline families, Rothschild, Rockefeller. And they had uh, less than 50% uh, attendance of their norm. And it's uh, looking like the bankers are going down uh, along with the many large corporations uh, because they're out of money. So that's happening. And we have this now. Uh, uh, Benjamin Fulford says part of this group is the Octagon Group. It's based in Switzerland. And we know the late uh, Kirsten W. talked about in the underground uh, facilities they have there under Lake Geneva that there were uh, 30,000 shadow CIA agents. Now Benjamin Fulford is saying that uh, it's very likely Russia will invade Switzerland to take out the Davos group. So we'll see. Okay, now he's talking about the U.S. government is out of money. And that CNN uh, apparently is stepping forth to tell more truth because they're talking about the Hunter Biden laptop and the documents found in JB's garage. And it's looking like JB and KH will go out soon. And it, the information is coming about uh, out about KH that her she was an anchor baby and she's not qualified in terms of citizenship to be vice president, much less president. And that it does appear soon, uh, Kevin McCarthy will become an interim, interim president and there will follow then new elections during the course of which President Trump will participate. And that soon there will be a jubilee uh, when this happens in the next month or two, uh, Nasara Jasara, a new economic system, med beds, and other uh, great things happening. So we need, just need to hold on and be in prayer. I believe that God does win. All right. Now we have this coming out in Daily Mail about a Terminator two type robot 
we recall from the predictive programming in, uh, I think that was Terminator 2, there was a, a robot and he could pass through glass or walls, liquefy, come out the other side and then re-solidify and look like a man, shape shift. Okay, the real deal out of China, Hong Kong. The robot can self-heat, liquefy, escape its cage, and then re-solidify. And that's because it has magnetic particles in that are embedded in gallium. And I brought that out, gallium, that chemical and its use in a recent video. So we're seeing beryllium and gallium are coming out. Now we have this. Jessica Ariel Morocco recently interviewed Peter, the insider who is the director of the 12th division of the ACIO, Alien Contact Intel Organization, that's a division of the NSA. So, we have some um, intel coming out. Now, the deep state, along with off-world corporations that also operate inside the United States uh, and, and all over Earth. Okay. Inside Russia, so they had uh, uh, engineers from all over the earth, and they were working on an off-world uh, chemical and bio weapon component to add it to bombs that they made to look like the Russian Satan missiles. And uh, so, so it's a bomb and they added chemical and a bio component that is to mutate human DNA and to lead to deformed children who are not viable, cannot reproduce. These are the ones who live after, you know, they set off the bombs. Now, according to uh, Peter's intel, these bombs have, were produced in Russia and I with Iran scientists and other scientists and engineers. They came recently to the U.S., possibly to the port of Houston from China. They came in container ships and they are a target uh, they went to then underground facilities and their target is to be released. We don't know a time frame and certainly the 70% of the U.S., the White Hats and White Hats and other militaries around the world and the ACIO are working uh, day and night to try and stop this event. The target is 28 cities. Inside the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Basically, uh, all of North America. And the chemical bio is similar uh, to like Agent Orange. It'll be released in particles in the air. So if the bomb doesn't kill you, eventually, uh, you know, the chemical bio weapon can get you. Now, they're going to underground facilities and the pl uh, there are planes there. Uh, 
that have some off-world um, cloaking, but they are made in, on Earth because they have to be the same frequency as Earth to carry the bombs that were constructed on Earth. And uh, the they also have human pilots who have been MK Ultra. Uh, MK Ultra is a uh, deep state uh, uh, abuse uh, program to break the spirit and mind of a child, typically by the age of eight years old, and then implant uh, in alter uh, produce alters in their mind and then program the alters with different triggers and control them and use them that's what uh, when we see uh, shootings typically in the united states uh, it's from one of these individuals that has been uh, is under the control of the deep state okay so the pilot is also human and the same frequency as Earth. Now, Peter the Insider says uh, their research is this chem bio came from, from the future 2052. Okay. And that uh, it's being uh, uh, sponsored by an off-world a group called Umbrella that has recently changed their name to the Rainstorm Company. So that's going on. Now we know what to pray against. All right. So now we have this off grid desert farming. Adrian and Paul, I believe, interviewed um, uh, um, a Mr. Byrne, B-R-Y-N-E, and he was formerly with the Army Headquarters staff, and he's now with a private organization uh, that's and he is the deputy director of the EMP task force. And he's bringing this information out. He confirms that inside Russia, U.S. military are conducting a cyber attacks as well as being inside Russia and committing acts of sabotage on physical facilities. Now, he's saying that the U.S. military is hiring third parties to go inside Russia to do this. The U.S. military is doing the cyber attacks. This is, is the shadow part of the U.S. military. I have other sources who recently came out and said, yes, this is going on, but it's U.S. military special forces who are inside Russia committing acts of sabotage and that the Russian government and military is aware of this. So that was confirmation. Now we have this. We have Alex Cristoforo. He's a truther journalist out of Greece, giving some updates on what's going on in, in Ukraine. Okay. So he's talking about, a, he was showing a clip ostensibly of the U.S. Um, hearing but we know they're all being photographed, in, most of them in Atlanta, Georgia, either at Tyler Perry's studio or at a studio located in Atlanta, Georgia on Fort McPherson's military base. And this showed Victoria Newland, who... Um, Alex Cristoforo believes is orchestrating the entire 
uh, Ukraine uh, war effort and that Blinken is subordinate to her. Most likely that's true. Okay, now he's bringing this out. The U.S. is to impose sanctions on the Russian group Wagner. Now, Scott Ritter, a retired Marine military analyst, came out and was talking about this and said the Wagner group works for the Russian military, and it's directed by the U.S., the Russian military, and the Russian government. So this is like the U.S. putting a sanction on uh, in the United States, something like a, a black uh, a special uh, forces group inside uh, the U.S. military. Yeah. So that's going on. But then we don't really have smart people uh, saying they represent the American people in terms of government. All right. Now, we have this. So Alex Cristoforo is reporting, yeah, Russia is objecting to the U.S. Abram tanks and the German Leopard tanks because they contain depleted uranium and plutonium, beryllium, and gallium. That's going on. Now, we have this. We have War News 24-7 reporting that yeah, Russia just yesterday uh, sent out 55 missiles that was over uh, Ukraine at KH-47M2 Kenzal missiles um, to take out more of their uh, energy and comms infrastructure as they have been doing for the past several weeks and reports that Medvedev, the uh, Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council says their next uh, attack they're going to do, this is Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporonisa, Kherson, this is Bakhmut, will be Nikolaev and Odessa. They are definitely going to take the uh, Black Sea port and part of their uh, Russian military will come out of Tranista that's located in Moldova or adjacent to Moldova right from here. So they'll sweep in here, come from here and also here. So that's going on. Now, War News is reporting President Putin to Germany. You are still under U.S. control as you have been since World War II or deep state control. And uh, so this needs to change. Uh, this is true of Germany and the U.S. and many other nations are still under deep state control control and President Putin says this must change. Now uh, we have this yeah I wrote this prayer and then I went on and did research to confirm what God gave me that um, Zelensky is an American citizen. Who knew? We knew about his $34 million estate in Florida. We didn't know about the citizenship. Okay. And this is came out from Pravda on December 21, 2022. Uh, talking about him coming to the United States and talking to the the Senate and asking for money and weapons December 21, 2022. So 
uh, just last month, and uh, I'm uh, quoting, he might be traveling to the U.S. to confirm American citizenship, a bank account, and property in Florida. Yeah, I think so too. And that confirmed what God included in this prayer. So, this prayer is based on uh, King James Version, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. And the title is Warning. There is the God in heaven who reveals secrets. Blessed be God who has delivered his servants so God's people may prosper. A man who hates God will return to his own land and make a covenant against the people of God. And as a watchman, uh, we are required to give warning or the death of an individual and his blood will be upon our heads. But as a watchman, if we give warning, then the blood is removed from our head. God teaches his sons and daughters discretion. The Lord will rise to do his work, his strange work, and to accomplish his will up on earth as it is in heaven. Warning. The man who locks up the priest of God will soon face God. It is time now to repent of your sins against God and his people. And we say thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, and many call Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.